welcome to another video. Today we'll be having a little look at a game called Armor 3. So the basic premise of Armor 3 is a it's a military simulator where you play as a soldier. Well, in some cases you play as a freedom fighter or anything else depending on the game mode. There are a lot of different maps and game modes that you can play with Armor. Today we're going to look at the uh, anti-Stasi game mode on the map of Altus. So a quick rundown of this game mode. You basically play as resistance fighters of Altus trying to liberate your island from the occupying force. The occupying force you can choose to be either the Americans or the Russians. And then piece by piece you will liberate your island, build your force stronger and then get rid of the invaders as you would say. As you can see, I am driving a Russian T-90 tank around that we have captured from the Russians. That was just a game saving, showing you how many recruits we have and money. So you have three resources to uh, worry about with the anti stasi game mode. The money that you get, people you recruit when liberating places, and also the equipment that you either buy or take off of the enemies. As you can see on this map, all the green zones are the places we have liberated from the occupying force, which in our case is the Americans. And then they are represented by the blue. And then the red is the Russians who have decided to invade the island as well. To try and take over from the Americans and stop us. And I just got paid. How lovely. So what I'm doing now is donating the money I got to the faction. So that our faction has got more money to buy better equipment and also more equipment in the future. I'm taking this T-90 tank to this outpost up north so we can capture it from the Americans. So a very big and important resource when you're playing this uh, game mode but also in armor in general. Because a lot of troops are scared of a tank, of course, and there's not much they can do unless they have like RPGs or some anti-tank weapons. But the tank is not invulnerable, so that's one thing you must remember. This isn't a fantasy sort of thing, this is realistic. The tank can get destroyed by one infantryman with an RPG or an anti-tank uh, missile. Just scanning around with the uh, thermal imager. I like to just see if there's any infantry out in the open that might be a danger for me and also if I can see any other vehicles that might also pose a threat. In armor you basically just need two people to operate a tank, a gunner and a uh, driver. But I would recommend that you have at least three people in a tank because then you have like a commander who can look around while the gunner is also looking for targets. I stole this tank from the uh, Russian base here off to the right hand side of the map which was quite nerve wracking and uh, exciting at the same time <laughs> what I did was I basically ran up to the uh, airfield unarmed and then stole one of the unoccupied tanks and then drove it off and shot as many as the uh, Russians occupying the base as I could and then just ran all the way back to our airfield or our base and uh, saved the vehicle. Thanks to my friend Josh for uh, letting me know that's the way to go about stealing tanks and other equipment. <laughs> I am currently playing solo on the server so I have recruited two other NPCs to help me. One that can drive for me and then another one that can uh, scout and also be the roof gunner, basically like the commander makes it way easier and I can just shoot whatever the AI pulls out. As you can see our uh, squadron markings is on this tank because we have uh, saved this vehicle into our uh, arsenal and we basically have a clan so this is the clan markings. Our clan's name is uh, should have side climbed and we also have a war thunder squadron if uh, any of you are interested. Piece of equipment that is very important is uh, night vision because when it gets dark in armor, it gets really dark, and you can't see anything other than shots with the tracers 
from the enemies or the friendlies. So NVDs are a great help on us, so thermal images massively help you in the dark. Another little tip for armor when playing in the night is uh, don't drive with your lights on because uh, an enemy will see you and shoot at you immediately and you won't be able to see them. So only when necessary drive on with the lights but otherwise off all the time. Oh, there's something marked on the map next to me. I wonder what it is. Where is it? There it is. What is that? Is that a bus? <laughs> scared of a bloody bus? It is indeed a bus. Well, I'm glad I didn't shoot that without wondering what it was. Never be too careful. Not a single passenger in sight. But still, it wouldn't uh, be a nice if I shot a poor bus driver in the middle of the night. The T90. Finally, the outpost is in sight. After like 50 minutes of driving, <laughs> time to engage some poor infantry with a tank. Now the fun begins. Gunners are also engaging them. Ah, the soldier's not going down. I'm just gonna send them around at him. <laughs> that just brought down the entire tower. <laughs> Do you see that? The soldiers are just floating because the tower collapsed beneath them. Armor physics, man. That is really special. That's, that's armor physics for you. Sometimes it works, sometimes it just does the weirdest things ever. A triple kill with the HE round. Lovely. His laser led me straight to him. Just stopped, okay? <laughs> there it is again. What is making that beeping noise? Oh dear, I think that was a missile. In the thing's missile warning system, I was warning you. I didn't realize yeah, I fired a missile at me. And this uh, T90 that all Russian tanks do explodes and becomes the Russian space program. If that didn't go as successful as I was hoping it was going to, but at least it's some damage to the troops and the buildings. Oh, I need to uh, donate money before I lose a lot of it when I die. So uh, let's do that. That's another little important tip when you go into combat. Always donate most of your money to the faction before you go into combat because uh, when you die, you lose a lot of your money. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, intro to Armor 3 and uh, Anti Stasi mod. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know in the comment section if you want to see more Armor content. And also uh, leave a like on the video. Thanks and uh, goodbye.